Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much again for joining me. So today's video is going to be a DIY tutorial for Flying Key wall art. I had this idea a couple of weeks ago because I'm moving soon, I wanna to wanna to start having a lot more Harry Potter stuff displayed. I've got my shelving all in mind and I just figured I need some really good wall art. So I actually went to a company that do MDF laser shapes and all different kinds of shapes and styles and I asked them if they could make me some flying keys. They sent them to me and I've had so much fun painting them and decorating them and I thought I would share that with you guys. I am not the most amazing person at making DIY videos so this is a little bit sketchy but if you do stick with it I think you'll really really enjoy the end result. Now everything I'm doing in this tutorial of course is my own interpretation of what I would like to have as my flying key wall art. If you guys were to follow this tutorial obviously you can use whatever colours you want, any styles, you can use gems, crystals, anything along those lines but yeah like I said this was just my own interpretation and yeah I hope you really really enjoy it. I'm going to get straight into it. Okay, so everything that you're going to need to do these flying keys is slowly popping up on the screen now. So you can see all different types of paint, some glitter, paintbrush, and some glue in a needle tip bottle. If you can get hold of them, you usually get them from eBay and they're quite cheap. So what I did first of all was took the gold and black and mix them together to make like a really dull, almost brassy kind of colour for my key. I gave it a good mix up and just simply painted it onto the key. I thought this colour was absolutely perfect because it kind of made the keys look a little bit old and vintage but at the same time still really really pretty and shiny. Next I painted the wings and for this I used the blue paint and I added in a little bit of the silver as well because I actually found that the coverage on the silver was much better and it also gave it a bit of a shimmery finish as well which I really liked. I did kind of wing it on this part. I wasn't sure how much of the silver I wanted to use. I knew I wanted the wings to be more blue than silver, but I wasn't really sure on how much blue I'd actually need. So this is me just kind of testing out what kind of color I like. So obviously you guys can use whatever colors you prefer and whatever kind of tones that you want. I just thought that this was the best color for me personally. Some parts were a little bit more fiddly, so I had to be really, really careful on the smaller details. Um, you can either use a paintbrush if you've got a really small one, or also I used a toothpick for some fine, fine details as well. I apologise that you can't really see what I'm doing on this part. I didn't really realise that I was out of shot with the camera, but I am just painting those small parts of these wings here. Once the first layer is dry, you may find that you want to go back over the wings with a second layer because I just found that it wasn't covering as nicely as I wanted it to. So I just gave it one more layer. So next I wanted to paint the smaller details in the wings and for this I wanted to use the silver that I used earlier on. I literally just used silver this time, I didn't mix it with any other colours um, because I just wanted it to give it that little extra depth in the wings and to make it even more shimmery than before. I 
this part was really really fiddly to do but if you go slowly you should be able to do it no problem or like i said if you want to use a toothpick or something similar to that uh, just to fill in the smaller smaller details I actually really loved how these wings turned out and thought they were absolutely perfect for the look that I was going for. For the next bit, I wanted to make the keys look a little bit older again, so I used the black paint. So what I did for this part was I put small amounts of the paint onto my paintbrush and then wiped it onto a kitchen towel to get as much of the excess paint off as I possibly could. Then I started painting it onto certain parts of the key. Again, this was just to give it a bit more of an old look, a bit more vintage and a bit more like it's been used and a bit battered. Again, I was really pleased with this technique and thought they made these keys look really, really cool. The last thing I did to these keys was add the glitter. As you can see, I'm using a needle tip bottle. You can get these on eBay, they're pretty cheap. All you need to do is fill them up with glue and then use them to practically draw onto the areas where you're adding the glue. I'm using silver glitter. You literally just take the bag of glitter and pour it onto the areas where you've added the glue. And then you just bang off the excess. And voila, you have some very glittery shimmery wings. I was super happy with how these keys turned out. Again, everything I've done is completely optional. You can use whatever colors you want, any design that you want. Uh, this was just my interpretation of shimmery, glittery, flying key wall art. <laughs> 